with this cross frame crank it still goes like stink absolutely freezing get your shopping delivered by r2d2 i need a wee as well i've got loo here easy you're gonna have to wait see you back on the mic in a minute all right today we're going back to basics with the video and the bike <laughs> this is the new triumph tiger 850 sport now this is the bike which is you know, the base tiger even though this is called the sport i think the branding on this bike maybe isn't quite right because this is the basic entry level tiger 900 i've ridden the gt pro i've ridden the rally pro both fantastic the 850 sport uses the same engine but it's a great entry level price i think it's nine thousand four hundred pounds so well below 10k gets you on a new tiger now today we're also putting this bike through its paces i'm taking this bike to peterborough i've got a meeting with be moto so i'm using this bike as if it was my own machine you know to uh, to go and do your jobs on to do a bit of commuting on so i'm going up to peterborough which is about 150 miles then on the way back i'm popping in to see nelly i've got my ducati cylinder heads <laughs> in the top box so I'm probably going to be doing about 350 miles on this machine today. So join me and let's see how it copes with that sort of mileage in a day. And I've got a cold. And it's six and a half degrees today. And this doesn't come with heated grips. Chopsy, roll the intro. <laughs> Jumping aboard, you're greeted with that Tiger look. You know, everything here is the same as what is on the, the Pro versions. Even got a TFT, but it's stripped down. As I mentioned, this bike doesn't have quite as many options as the others in the range. This bike is also configurable for A2 as well. So the tune on this engine, this isn't the A2 tune on this one, but the power is down by 10 horsepower over the... Uh, the normal Tiger, let's call it, the GT versions or the rally versions. We're about 10 brake horsepower down, so this makes 84 of the brake horses, and it's about five newton meters down on the torque department as well. I'll flash it on the screen, can't remember what it is. I think it's around about, uh, I, I can't remember. Flash the, flash the torque on the screen, Chopsy. But, uh, with this cross plane crank, it still goes like stink. I'm all set for a long motor race in today. I've got my earplugs in, so if I'm shouting a little bit, it's because I've got my custom fit guards in. I'm set for sitting at speed on motorway, and this bike is great for that. But because this is the, the 850 Sport, it's missing a couple of key features which would make this journey a little bit nicer. One of them is the heated grips. There's no heated grips on this. Could be an option but there's no heated grips. There's also no cruise control. So I do like cruise control, especially when you're gonna be sat on the motorway all day. So we've got no cruise control. We've got no heated grips. It's also got, you know, no sport mode. It's a bit stripped down. There's no IMU, you know, it's a more basic machine. And that is why it's 2000 pounds cheaper than the GT Pros or the Rally Pro version. So it's two, you're saving two grand by getting this version. And the ride, feels lovely you've got 43 millimeter marzocchis up front non-adjustable and you've got a marzocchi shock with a remote preload adjuster but the ride is you know it's not a sports machine despite the name i don't think this is going to be a machine to handle in the twisties but just the ride is lovely and comfortable let's be honest this is a mile muncher this bike is a commuter mile muncher but in comfort, you know? And this has got all the mod cons with the full LEDs, even the, and the horn, even the top box. I've even got the chop box on the back of this as well. So this is a mile munching weapon, which is coming out of the Hindhead tunnel. I'm gonna go up the A3, jump on the M25. I don't know, it may take me the Dartford tunnel way. I'm not sure. I haven't looked at what the route is gonna be. And then we're gonna jump up and go to Peterborough. So I'll catch up with you in half an hour or so, let you know I'm getting on the comfort front. We should a minute. I'm in Guildford now, that's the cathedral uh, of the Omen, where when he's a baby they try and take him to church and he kicks off. <laughs> that was filled there, that's Guildford. I was going to try and go in and uh, give you a closer look at it as a bit of a sightseeing trip, but 
I got the court in the one-way system and ended up back straight on the motorway, but Guildford, the church, where they filled the omen. I don't know, he just seems scared to death. Is he ill? Good morning. Currently still buzzing around the M25. I've been riding for 52 miles, 50 minutes in the saddle. I'm absolutely perfectly comfortable. This seat is really squishy, very comfortable. I don't think I'm going to be suffering with a sore bottom on this bike. But so far, I'm loving this. And I've still got, it reckons, yeah, 86 miles range. The range is actually coming up. I'm doing 51 miles per gallon and I've got 186 miles range left in the tank and I've got 97 miles to go so I'm certainly going to better get there without putting fuel in it Well, stopped at Milton Keynes at the services it's been about, I've been on the bike for an hour and a half now uh, incredibly comfortable, the bottom's perfectly fine the whole the bike is a very, very comfortable bike to ride so I think what we do, as we're here, as we've stopped as I need a coffee break We'll do a quick walk around of the bike. But there she is. I think you'll agree. I actually think this 850 Sport version has a better colour scheme than the, you know, the GT. I like the rally colour scheme. Well, I like the green with the white frame. I like that one. But I think this has got a better colour scheme than the GT versions. The blue and the grey and the little bit of sport on the tank here. I think it looks great. You have cast wheels, but you do still get the styling the calipers which I think are completely unnecessary on this, really. They could probably take the Stylemas off, put a lower spec caliper on there, and knock another 300 quid off the price, because the pad material they're using, the brakes aren't very, you know, they're, it's not using the calipers to its potential. They're quite soft anyway, so there's really no need to go as premium as the brakes are, as those are, but, uh, and then and not, make, not make use of it, you know. You don't want really sharp brakes on this sort of bike, do you? But I think Stylebers, wow, what a spec. There's the dash, 155 mile range and 51.8 miles per gallon. And I've done an hour and 27 minutes riding at 95 miles. So I've done 95 miles, I've got another 155 mile range left. So I might even be able to get home and back again on this tank. 20 litres, but that's really, on the motorway, that is just sipping the fuel. So that's about it for the bike. So I'll finish my coffee and I'll probably catch up with you again around Peterborough area. Speak to you in a minute, guys. Right, I'm in the average speed camera zone now on the way to Peterborough. 22 miles from Peterborough. I've got 95, 95 miles range left in the tank and I have covered 131 miles. So this bike has got well over 200 mile range on it with the 20 litre tank. And I've actually been blatting down the motorway back there up to a rather naughty 90 miles an hour and at 90 miles an hour indicated it's at 6,000 revs and at 6,000 revs you do start to get a few more little vibrations through the bars but it can sit at 90 all day long no problem at all to sit at 90 on this bike it can do it I'm not missing that power you know there's 10 brake horsepower down but coming out the roundabouts opening it up it makes you know working through the gears no quick shift or blipper, manually working through the gears, it's fine. It is, uh, it's a lovely bit of kit. And what I love about the Tiger 900, including this one, is it's not too big a bike. It's not too imposing. Like the GS is a massive bike. The Africa Twin is a massive bike. This is sort of a, a middleweight adventure bike, if you like. And it does, it's not too unwieldy to move around. And when you're sat on it, you wouldn't know you're on a smaller bike. You've got all the wind protection, big wide tank I really like this size this is I think this is the adventure bike I would buy with my own money anyway after that bombshell I'll see you in pizza here we are Peterborough just uh, well 1.2 miles away from B Moto 
for my meeting and uh, I'm here in complete comfort still got 81 miles left on the range I have done I've been well it's taken two hours 23 minutes to get here with that one stop at Milton Keynes fresh as a daisy I've done 153 miles <laughs> she's a beauty I'll get my meeting I'll jump back on and then we're head to Nelly's to drop the Ducati cylinders off and pick up some crankcases and then head home so I'll give you an update on the way home or perhaps at Nelly's but it will be getting dark <sighs> right that's it B Moto meeting complete it's now four o'clock getting dark so we're gonna be able to test out the tiger in the dark and now we're heading to Nelly to drop off the hypermotor hard heads and pick up some casings <laughs> the old triumph workhorse bloody brilliant we're going to have to be brave here make way make way so I guess the question is if you're looking for the tiger a tiger 900 should you spend an extra 2000 and get the GT or the Rally Pro? Well, first of all, what you've got to ask yourself is do you want to go off road on your adventure bike? If the answer is yes, then of course you need the Rally version with the 21 inch front wheel. But if the answer is no, you're like 95% of the people out there who buy adventure bikes, they only get ridden on the road, then you think, is it worth an extra 2000 pounds for the GT Pro version? Now, it all depends how much you like your goodies, I guess. What I wish this bike had was the cruise control. Now, I don't know if that's an option. If you can put the cruise control on this bike as the option, then I think I'd go for the, the 850 version. But because I'd want to use one of these as a bit of a mile muncher, you know, that I think cruise control on any bike is fantastic. If you're not bothered about cruise control, then fill your boots, save yourself a couple of grand, this has got everything you need. The heated grips can come as an option, you know? So it's got everything else you need, really, this. I mean, heated seats, yeah, okay, heated seats. Do you need fully adjustable suspension? This, this stock setup, with, you know, we've got the preload adjuster on the rear, this suspension's fine. You don't really need fully adjustable suspension. This bike handles great. This is actually slightly lighter because it doesn't have all those electronics on. This is 192 kilos dry whereas the rally and the gt are over 200 kilos so this is a little bit lighter as well you've still got the full tank range so i think this bike at 9400 pounds makes a lot of sense for a lot of people but anyway let's hit the motorway and we'll talk a little bit more about comfort and whatnot after i've done a couple more hundred miles Right, we are in Milton Keynes now, and I need petrol pretty bad. I've got eight miles left on the range. I've been uh, <laughs> not seeing any petrol stations for a while. And we've actually done 208 miles. I've been, ri I've done, been riding for three hours and 25 minutes in total, and 208 miles we've covered, and I've got eight miles range left. The fuel light's been on since 50 miles, so the fuel light comes on at 50 miles on the countdown. But, uh, and it reckons 51.8 miles per gallon, and I've been sitting between 70 and 90, so I've not been taking it easy. So sort of 220 miles range to a tank, bloody fantastic. We're also in traffic hell now. Five o'clock, traffic hell. We want to get in there, you can't get in that way. Piss flaps. No entry, never mind. We pay no heed to such things on motorcycles. 149.9 per litre. Since that fuel crisis, the fuel sh price shot up during that fuel crisis from about 120 to 150 and uh, yeah i can't see it coming down anytime soon very annoying this is going to take a lot of fuel and we're full 17 liters i need a wee as well i've got got loo here easy you're gonna have to wait see you back on the mic in a minute all right
<laughs> Look at these little things they got in Milton Keynes. Little droids which deliver your shopping from Tesco's and stuff. It's like the automated droids going to people's houses. It's unbelievable, isn't it? I've never seen those before. So Tesco's, you know, you get your shopping delivered by a droid. You get your shopping delivered by R2-D2. Never seen that. Oh, I'm freezing. It's three degrees. It's been down to two and a half degrees. I've just blatted down the A34. I've just come off the A34 at Winchester now. Did about 85 down the motorway. Absolutely freezing. But comfort on the bike. Let's just check. Hang on. Before I go on on that, how many miles have we done? How many miles? Well, I've been in the saddle for five hours, eight minutes today. And I've done 306 miles. 306 miles on the Tiger 850 Sport. And I tell you, if it wasn't for freezing, <laughs> I'd be absolutely perfectly comfortable on this. Because I've been sat for the last 45 minutes, a bit high beam, on the uh, A34, my backside is starting to get a little bit numb because I've been sat still for so long. But honestly, it's, ve it's a very, very comfortable bike. Heated grips would be nice. I'm really missing the heated grips. I'm missing the uh, cruise control, but apart from that, I'm missing nothing else from the uh, the GT or the rally version. So, so there we are. If you want to get yourself a Tiger 900, the 850 is very much still a fantastic bike and you can save yourself a couple of grand. There we go, guys. I'm going to get home hopefully in the next 20 minutes, get in front of the fire, warm myself up, get some feeling back in my fingers and I will see you on the next video. Cheers guys. Power level one, which is full power. <laughs> I told you I was scared back there. I've never dropped a bike before in my life. Oh! Backfire! That's it! That's it! <laughs> Listen to this. Two degrees it's just dropped down to and it's gone all foggy. So we could have freezing fog here. Lovely. It's just what we want. I'll leave you rolling. In case I fall off. 